of every leafy thing is in his hand. Did you start it? For the life of every living thing is in his hand, and the beneath breathe and the breath of every human being, the ear tests the words it hears, just as the mouth chooses between feeds. Wisdom belongs to the age and understanding to the old, but true wisdom and power are found in God. Counsel and understanding are his. What he destroys cannot be rebuilt. When he puts someone in prison, there is no escape. If he holds back the rain, the earth becomes a desert. If he releases the waters, they fan the earth. They flood the earth. Yes, strength and wisdom are his. Deceivers and deceived are both in his tower. He he leads counselors away strip, stripped of good judgment. Wise judges come full. He removes the royal robe of kings that they are led away with robes around their waist. He leads priests away stripped of status. He overthrows those with long years in power. He assigns to the trusted advisor and removes the insight of the elders. He pours a disgrace upon princess and disarms the strong. He uncovers mysteries hidden in darkness. He brings light to the deepest gloom. He builds up nations and destroys them. He fans nations and he abandons them. He strips, strips, he strips, he strips, he strips kings of understanding and leaves them wandering in a pathless wasteland. They go in the darkness without light. He makes them stagger like drunkards. It means we have you have to read John 13 verse 22 and 23 to meditate on this and what God is trying to teach you through that verse, then maybe I think we're going to uncover God's uncovering mysteries right now, hidden in our darkness. This consider a darkness of life. He brings light to the deepest gloom. I think he's bringing light out of the darkness and in, in, into the deepest gloom. I think this is the deepest gloom. I think very gloomy in life right now containing the virus that runs to make the life gloomy right now and we have to believe what God had said in Job 13 verse 23, 22 and 23 we have to believe what God has said that he's going to uncover mysteries Hidden our darkness, he uncovered mysteries. He already had uncovered mysteries in darkness. I think he's bringing light to the deepest gloom right now. I think he's going to bring the light to the deepest gloom. I think he also builds up nations and he destroys them because he destroyed the nations by the, by the, the virus. He's destroying the, the whole nation right now by the virus because cause his because some robbers out there are not paying attention to what God is trying to teach them right now. God is trying to teach them. I think the robbers are not right now. Should should I think the robbers right now are trying to talk to God? I think God is trying to talk to the robbers right now because the robbers. I think the ro robber. There's no more robbers right at all because. I think all the robbers are are becoming a Christian right now in their own homes or prison in prison ministry in their own prison or halfway house whatever I think God is trying to teach them something I also think that God is trying to teach me something I think God is preparing me for job interview I'm already prepared not I'm halfway prepared but but God's going to finish preparing me when this is over. I'm going to get that job interview that I was hoping for and waiting for. And God's going to bust me that because that's what God wants me to have. If God wants you 
to have something God will make a way for you. I think this is, I think there's a peak at the end right now. Right now, right now, it's not, there's no peak. I see God removing the, I think God's gonna, a lot more people need to accept Christ into their hearts again or, or the first time. Or people should just, 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 just ask God into their life so they can serve God with all of their heart and their mind and their strength and peace and mind.